Hey guys, Gary here from iOS Pro today. Apple has released iOS 16 Beta 4 to all developers today. Came out 1.5 gigabytes on my fellow Pro Max on my 12 Pro Max and installed it. The build number is 20A5328H. You see, that's the build number right there. And there are a ton of new features and changes that I will show you guys in this beta today. So let's get started. In the about section, you can see an iOS 16 beta 3 down to beta 1. The build number had to be shown by if you tap the tab here. But now on iOS 16 beta 4, Apple's now put the added the build number back to the preview tab. So now you can get a preview, then tap into it. Inside the notification center settings, previously on iOS 16 beta 1 up to beta 3, we had this tab called display as. Thing and change how it looks when you display when it displays the notification count stack or list but you never knew what that meant but now on iOS 16 beta 4 we have a new preview card showing you exactly what the options mean say previously in beta 3 we had this here's beta 4 you could choose the iOS 15 and earlier style from iOS 12 iOS 11 up to now and you can get the stacked option like we have now or the count where it shows just the count of notification inside the home app we go to the home app settings, go to choose from existing background. You can now see we have a new background option. Previously we had these right here, but now Apple's added a new background, which is the flowers. And I do want to show you guys something else here, that when after you guys are done updating, the preview screen wallpaper now changes to this one when you're done updating. But it's a really nice little change there. Also, the in the home app, the plug outlet that used to look like that icon, now it's made to large. In control center, you can see your iOS 16 beta 1 and up to now had this tiny icon for the plug outlets and control center home settings. But now they have been made larger. So larger control center icons for outlets. See, this is the control that controls my Christmas lights on my Lego house in the other room. In accessibility, so previously this new option was only available on Apple Watch. It says control nearby devices. That was previously only available on Apple Watch from beta 1 up to now. But on iOS 16 beta 4, Apple's brought that Apple Watch feature to iPhone. So instead, so you no longer need just the Apple Watch control nearby devices. You can now do it right from your iPhone. And use your iPhone control other nearby devices, which is a nice handy feature. So basically what this means is, in case your other device did shut the brakes, you can use this phone to control it, which is really nice. In accessibility, go to touch, go down, go to back tap, double tap, scroll down. In the accessibility controls, the Apple Watch mirroring was always there, but you have a new one for control nearby devices. So that's a new one for back tap. It's not showing on here because I'm not on beta 4, but on, on this one I am. In the TV application, previously we tapped up to the manage options right here for account. You can see this is all we had back then for iOS 16 beta 1 up to now. But now on iOS 16 beta 4, there's a new option called Sync My Sports. This will sync it between all your apps like Apple News, TV, and other Apple apps. Okay, so for this next change, I had to turn my device in landscape to prevent showing my family's names and all that. So sorry about that. All right, so in the family sharing options, you can see that previously on iOS 16 beta 3, um, down to 16 beta 1, we have these icons right here. But now in iOS 16 beta 4, we have two new color options. So you see, previously family checklist was yellowish, now it's purple. And the subscriptions icon used to be red, now it's blue. So two new color options for family checklist and subscriptions in the family sharing options. In the notes app, you can see that after updating to iOS 16 beta 4, I got a new preview screen showing exactly what the notes app features will do. So in the app store, you can see now that the after updating, the app store will give me a pr new preview pop-up as well. So new preview screens for after updating, not for all apps, just certain ones. So that's pretty much all the changes I could find in iOS 16 beta 4 today. So just like other times, I may have not found everything, but I found most of them. So. That's pretty much it for this video. If you liked this video, give the video a thumbs up. It's my video. Peace out.